Day 11, 12 are upon us, and that means that we are in a new block. So how I've organized this new 30 day green smoothie challenge for busy people is that I urge you to go shopping just three times. So roughly every 10 days you take a shopping trip. Because we shop infrequently, because that saves you time, we kind of have to prioritize our greens. This is a little bit of a repeat from what I've said earlier, but for the next three blending sessions, we're gonna work with baby spinach because in this block, it's the most tender green and thus it's gonna perish the quickest. So for the next three times that we blend, you're gonna see a lot of spinach. After that, we're gonna switch to a different green and we do this because that other green keeps much better and thus it's the smart thing to do. So for today's recipe, we are gonna be working with baby spinach. This is one third of a pound. Again, this is a pound container and I roughly pulled one third of it out. And now I'm putting it in the blender. You know, you can go, if you want more greens, you can certainly add more, but this is a good jumping off point, especially for beginner smoothie makers. We also have more frozen cherries. In they go. Another orange. I just have dad jokes in my mind that I'm keeping to myself. Again, you want to pull out any bits that you might not want blended. For me, that pretty much just means the peel. I leave everything else intact. You know, if oranges are very seedy, like this is a navel orange, so there's not too many seeds in it. But if I was working with Valencia's or maybe some mandarins, I would probably pull the citrus seeds out as they tend to make a whole pitcher of smoothie bitter. But like I said, because this orange doesn't have too many seeds, I don't need to worry about that. No dates today, but we will work with two more bananas. If you've been paying attention, then by now you're recognizing that bananas are sort of a staple in a green smoothie. They just kind of make everything creamy and delicious. And we're also working with an apple. Smush it down, pour water over it. And we blend. That looks about right. I seriously do taste every single smoothie I make because I don't think it's right for a bad smoothie to give all of smoothies a bad name. So I just, I wanna ensure that people enjoy it, that I enjoy it, and so I taste all my smoothies. And this is another winner. And that took almost no time at all. If I wasn't rambling, it would have taken even less time. You got your two quarts. You can hear my cat in the background. She's a Siamese cat and they're very, very vocal. Okay, you know the drill. Here's two more, 11, 12.